Hello and welcome to the tutorial on odd and even numbers. In this tutorial we're going to go through numbers up to 10,000. Now if you recall from the previous tutorials where we use the number line we identified which numbers are odd and even. Now you should know this by now so we're not going to do the number line however we are going to write them down in summary over here. So the even numbers are, do you know what they start with? They begin with 0 and then you simply count in twos. 2, 4, 6 and 8. How about the odd numbers? What do they begin with? They begin with 1 and then we simply count in twos. 3, 5, 7, 9. So those are our odd and even numbers. What we're going to do is we're going to work through a few examples with numbers up to 10,000. So suppose we have this number here. We've got 3,487. 3,487. Now is this number odd or even? Well, as you know from previous tutorials, we're going to ignore all the numbers at the at, in front. What we are going to do is concentrate on the last one, the units. So we're not interested in the tens, the hundreds, or the thousands. It's only the units. Here we've got seven. So there are seven units. Can you spot seven in the two columns on the left? Here it is. Seven is an odd number. Now if 7 is an odd number, then the whole number, 3487, is also an odd number. Let's write it down. Okay, now let's have a look at our second example. Suppose we have 6734. 6734. Is this number odd or even? Well, again, all we're going to do is concentrate on the last digit, the units. That is the 4. So we're just going to concentrate on the 4. Where can you see 4 on the left-hand side? Here it is. It's an even number. If 4 is an even number, then the whole number, 6734, is also an even number. Okay, now let's have a look at the next one. Now suppose we have this number, 8,920. 8,920. Now I want you to work out whether this is an odd number or an even number. Have you worked it out? Great. Now let's go through it. The only digit we're interested in is the last one, 0. Can you see 0 anywhere here? There it is. It is an even number. And if 0 is an even number, the whole number, 8920, is also an even number. And now we come to our last example here. Suppose we have this number, 9000. 399. So it's a nice large number. Now can you work out whether this number is an odd number or an even number? Have you have you done it? Great. Now let's work work it out together. The only digit we're interested in is the last one, the units. That is 9. Here, 9 is over here. That is an odd number. And because 9 is an odd number, then 9,399 is also an odd number. So once you know the odd and even numbers between 0 and 9, you can work out the odd and even numbers of any number. It really is that simple. 